What's up guys? My name's McNally. Welcome to my channel. For this week's video, we're going to get into some fitness. That's right, fitness. That thing that everyone either loves or hates because now YouTube is filled with fitness influencers. <laughs> and so is Instagram, and I've done Instagram influence fitness people, but I've never done a YouTube fitness influencer, and I found the perfect, just, you know, just perfect one to cover. And his name is Troy, and his name is Troy the Health Nut. So you can go gentle, or you can go heavy. Now, you may be thinking to yourself, uh, why are we covering this homeless man? That's a good point. Let me explain why. He's not a homeless man, even though he kind of looks like a homeless man. He is a health slash breathing expert. And everyone knows that breathing is very important for your health and in general. He created this whole thing called bio bioenerge bioenergetic morning rituals, which is, I don't really know how to explain it. It's just better if we show you. So we're gonna follow this guy who has gone to interview him and find out what this bioenergetic morning ritual is. Be alert, it is kind of weird. Before we jump into the video, if you guys like the channel and you wanna catch more videos from me, hit that subscribe button. Also hit that bell notification. Apparently YouTube has found it somewhat funny to not put my videos out to my viewers, which I don't think is very funny, but you know, whatever. So hit that bell notification and you will be alerted the minute I post a new video. Let's uh, get into our inner breathing chakra. Is that the right thing? I, I don't know. Let's just, yeah. <laughs> Elliot, no, in the house. Wow, A, you should never judge a book by its cover, okay? And B, it's California. Now, I don't live in California. I've been to California once, but from the one week that I was there, making me now an expert, I feel like a lot of people just look like this in California. Like, you either have super pretty people or people that look like they've lived on the beach their entire life. Yeah, man. <laughs> so this is the original Muscle Beach. This is where all the gymnasts and um, people came in the 40s, bodybuilders. For someone like me, if I were to work out outdoors, I'd be so sunburned. It would be so uncomfortable and so painful. I'd be toasted. Let me know in the description below how you would feel about being absolutely burnt to a crisp while trying trying to work out. Lay back, trying to do push-ups, and like every part of your skin is just like crunching. And we've got all the gymnastics bars, so you've got the callus. Okay, we get it. You can do amazing stuff on the bars. Like I feel like if I did that, my shoulder would just completely pop out of my socket. Play. It's really just a vortex for outdoor energy. If someone comes up to you and says, yo dude, this is a vortex of energy. I feel like this is like a perfect example of what happens in California. Like I feel like no one goes to work or like does anything. They just kind of go to the beach, hang out, go surfing. Yeah, I feel like I'm in the 1940s right now. You're right, this is where like guys would be walking around, uh, kicking sand in the skinny guy's face. Bullying, but okay. I feel like the Santa Monica Pier is pretty much something everyone knows. Yeah, Charles Atlas, the Joel's baby. Charles Atlas ads. <laughs> that's the stuff of nightmares. This yeah. is where I like to do my Qigong, right here. Oh. All my mobility stuff. Cool, well, can I join you in some of your Qigong and mobility? Ladies and gentlemen, we need to buckle up because I feel like this is about to get really weird really quick. And the fact that we're doing it in public, outdoors, and there's apparently like a little bit of a crowd here over there means we're in for some just weird shit. I, I had a autoimmune issue I developed from black mold exposure. So I had weird neurological stuff coming up on my body. So what I taught myself to do was to put my shoes, cause I have a shoe policy in my house, put them on with one foot. Like the black mold, that's bad, really bad, but I don't get how putting one shoe on one foot, I feel like we all do that. Pretty much the basic use of a shoe. As you taught me, the nervous system is the first level of strength. Yeah, baby. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah it is. Now, sometimes I have to rethink shit that I've said before. Guy in the glasses here doesn't look very convinced. He kind of looks like he's just wanting like someone else to come over here and join in the conversation so he can just back out. Now I think the first level of strength is the, is the bones, right? Like if you got weak bones, it doesn't matter how the tendons or the muscles are, because because it, it's like your foundation, right? Mm -hmm. It's the it's the stone, it's the rock, it's the earth part of us, right? The skeletal system. Yes. Yes, now I feel like he doesn't want to be a part of this conversation. Are we ever gonna get like into the breathing parts of this or are we just gonna keep talking about like how we feel? Elements, right? Yes. So the nervous system is more like fire element, right? What do you think? Okay, I like that. I don't know, I made that up. it's firing. Yeah. 
What? I thought we just came here to do some like breathing exercises and balancing stuff. Now we're talking about how we are like firebenders from Avatar. We're gonna bring the chi in from the earth and from the celestial realm and have it travel through our body. Just oh, by man. Here we go, here we go. And in the beginning is really just kind of drum on the earth. Just really get that shakapa, that earthquake energy, that vibratory energy. Shakapa? Is that even a real word? That sounds like something he made up. How do you even spell that? Shakapa? We're gonna go with that word doesn't even really exist because I can't seem to find it anywhere. Energy in through the body. Brings it all the way up through the nervous system. Starts to activate the tissues. Start to feel alive. You get the primal animal in your loins. Ooh. What the fuck? I just, I just want to do some breathing exercises. I'm not looking, you know, for anything going through my loins, especially in a public place. Debated. Ooh. That's right, Ooh. baby. Ooh. Let it flow. Ooh. 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 Like a gorilla. Like California is kind of a weird place. There's some, you know, weird people out there, but I love the people like behind here who are just walking by going like, what in the, are we accidentally at the zoo? Did we like take a wrong turn and end up at the zoo? And you know, it's bad when a bunch of like people from California are going, wow, that's weird. And again, getting in the horse stance, bending the knees, this activates the inner elements. Stop slapping your thighs, it's weird, it's weird. Of your animal, your primal animal. We'll go through the whole body. I'm so confused what we're supposed to be doing. Are you supposed to do this in the morning? Just slap yourself all over in the morning? Just waking yourself up? This is, this is quite enlivening, you know? Who knew the key to fitness was just hitting yourself and making weird animal noises? You got big lymph nodes in here. I'll pass the previous stuff, but this, how is that supposed to wake anything up? You're just hitting yourself in what is dangerously close to your groin. Like in the, and in the morning, think about that. In the morning, you're like doing this, you're tired and you just land a good fist right, just about two inches lower, you're done for the day. Like that's your morning. So when you say we're getting into the lymph nodes, what does that help? Does this help drain the lymph? Water turns into a cesspool. So mobilizing the interstitial fluid is really what exercise is designed to do. Right. Go out for a jog, lift some weights, you know, stretches are good, do some stretching before. I, I don't know if I, I can get on board with just, you know, slapping yourself and whatever that weird sound making. It's the jade pillow. Yeah. Back here. And if you get it right, you, you gotta be gentle until you find your own little aggressive spot. But once you find it, you can hit it hard. I can feel it go down all into my nervous system, down through my feet. Yes, you're hitting yourself in the back of the head. You probably feel it going down your spine because it's uh, not something you're supposed to do. Most people don't like getting hit in the back of the head. I, I don't know if I can get on this fitness trend. I like to also hit the top of the head. Do you think the guy, Troy the health nut, is like doing this just to kind of make fun of whoever this guy is, Elliot Hulse? Now remember, everyone at home, they gotta go a little bit gentle to begin with to find your sweet spot. I'm a little bit more of an aggressive animal. Yeah, I'm an aggressive animal. Find your animal sweet too. spot. Okay, I'd prefer it if no one ever said the words, I am an aggressive animal. I don't know why, but it's just kind of creepy when you see someone else say it. Gently bring a little bit of energy into the kidneys, Jing life force energy. Yeah, this is like a self massage, all of this. I don't know too many massages that result in you getting slapped and beaten. For me, I mean, who knew that you could harness the entire power of the world through just hitting yourself constantly? Apparently it's that easy. And the slower you move, the faster chi moves. Does anyone else think like maybe chi is like code word for like the force? Like just imagine a Jedi having to like get ready to use the force, but they have to go through this entire just, you know, like slapping thing. I don't know, that was probably a stupid thing to think about, but that's just what came to my mind. Maybe you got some, some neck pain. 
I have neck pain because you told me to slap the back of my head and now my neck is hurting. That's why I have pain in my neck. <laughs> it's California. People out there are very different. Not bad, just, you know, just very different. Harmonize you for digesting your meal, slow you down. Okay, now the guy doesn't even look like he's into it anymore. And plus, could you imagine like going into a business meeting and your boss is like, hold on, I gotta do something real quick and goes through that entire thing. The video continues on for about five more minutes. And essentially it's just basically him explaining how doing all of this is going to like bring up your chi. But I still don't really know what chi is or what we use it for necessarily. Bioenergetic morning rituals. You run through that thing every time you wake up, every morning. Some things I'd like to uh, just suggest, you don't hit yourself that hard because you'll probably knock yourself out, especially if you're hitting yourself on the back of the head. Will I try it? Probably not. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Sorry if this video was a little haphazard. It's just been a really crazy week. Let me know in the description below if you guys are into this kind of stuff or if if you want to follow me on any of my social media, that's all in the description below as well. And I will see you guys next week with a brand new video. Bye.